Hello, my name is Philip Tuya Hobbs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the Genesis footer. Now, I'm using a theme called Dynamic, which makes it a lot easier than normal to uh, to play with things. So, I've gone into Genesis. Now, I've gone into Dynamic Custom. This is my uh, my child theme. So I can go in here and put in my code. Then I've gone and found the snippets for the footer of Genesis. So I'm just going to go in here and uh, copy this text here. You can also go into Genesis Finder and search footer and there comes up a bunch of different tips and things like that. All right. We'll put this in here and it will give us some uh, some control so at the moment we have this one right I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on there and click save changes and refresh here and now we've got a little bit of editing there that's good so now what we can do is we can go in I'll just change this SP to my own initials. Remember to change it here. Now I'm just going to put in my own domain name. And then I can put in my own link to Genesis, my own affiliate link there, if I want. So I'll come back and do that one when you're not watching. And then we have a modified. So there's my name. And you can you can change things here and put in some different HTML and, and such. And it responds as well see it does go over to the right I can see here um, and I believe it's because of that credits so if you just check here you should be able to see that credits is uh, being given a width that should help it so then we can put this here in the CSS no float no text align let's see if that helps you can actually tear off here not sure if I saved it there yeah I did okay so now it's centered and then you can check it again here there now it's better doing what it should so and then you can just go in and edit that as needed might just give you a little explanation so this uh, this here is the copyright sign this here is the year you can play with that to PHP function but uh, I advise not to unless you know what you're doing this mid dot that's that dot there in the middle. Yeah, and then you got your normal HTML. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.